Well, guys, I'm on the Frozen Craft server by myself. I'm in my house. And it was just raining a second ago. Did it literally stop? Oh, hey, it's like, well, you know, Jake's recording. Might as well just stop raining, you know? So here's my front garden right next to the beautiful border, which I don't really think anyone has even stepped foot out here in, like, forever. I don't know why we stopped curving it here. You know, it was kind of, like, weird U-shape that just encloses all the houses. But, um beautiful MLG Salaticus Craftia flag. I know Matt likes to say salsa, but really, no. Beautiful X sheep farm. It's a great day. So, I was wondering about new people joining the server, because Roy just very recently got welcomed on here, and um, I heard a story that he got spawned up there. <laughs> and, well to say this stopped him from spawning because it takes up the spawn point. Now, the reason why we encase this all in glass and stuff is to stop him or to stop Matt or whatever. I don't even know why. Like, again, I don't even know why. Mainly just because we wanted to see if he would break this and if he would, like, damage our property, but <laughs> but this isn't even in our territory. This isn't even in our territory. I'm just going to ignore that. Um, so... Anyway, let's just gonna break this down. Say goodbye. It's bright here again, finally. I'm just gonna keep that there. So yeah, spruce wood is available. I haven't made a video in here for a while, I apologize, but I'm just going through the changes. So I'm reading the messaging board first. Yeah, there is spruce wood. You may have seen that in the birthday episode or whatever. We got spruce farm going up there. Am amateur spruce farm uh, behind Reed's house. And... Salsa it is craftia. But really everyone knows. Everyone knows that. Well doors. I've ultimately decided I want to trash this house. Maybe even sell it to Roy because I don't want to take it all down. Like I know the garden's all fancy and all, but as I've said earlier in this video about how pointless this border is. Let's see here. I don't. I don't even know. Like west. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing, but basically, how pointless this border almost is. I want to expand this way and build myself a way better house and sell this one to Roy. And by doing that, we gain him on his side, I think, because, you know, he is technically inside the border. And we do want that number. Have it a 4v1, you know? Make it as fair as possible. <laughs> so I've decided what I want to do. And I'm going to get all the resources for that. And I'm going to see you over there. Alright, well, I got a design ready. Um... I think it's a pretty popular design. I don't know. I just found it off YouTube for my new house. I'm going to need a lot of uh, diorite and birch wood. Alright. So the reason I got birch and diorite is because they are light colors. And I'm going for a modern design. So I think that whitish, you know, bright colors are the way to go. Get F3 off there. And this is kind of a popular design. I don't know if it is or not. I, I just looked it up on YouTube. So, here goes nothing. There we go. Alright, now we got two giant diorite nether portals. And now I am, I did do a step off camera. Basically, I put in a little beam going across here and took out the floor and made it double thick. Now I'm just going to add on more to my framework here. Whoops, okay. It'd be a shame if this is all wrong in the end. Alright guys, so I went ahead and gave it some wings. That looks kind of like a like a crappy chicken from over here or something like you know like their wings are out all right so what i'm gonna do now is go at it from the top do the same thing 
probably gonna run out of dye right here though. It wasn't that hard, only wasted about half a stack. Alright, so I'm back with you again. I'm right, I will need more wood. But basically, what I did here was, you know, kind of make an S and then go around here. So now what I'm going to do is practically copy what I did here over here. I actually think that's it. I don't even need to go down here, I don't think. Oh man, this is going to be a pain to edit. <laughs> anyway. Um, basically, I filled in this right here that was an empty space before, so I don't even think I have the planks. I'll collect all my birch. Yep, just 41. And I'm going to fill in this right here. Yep, definitely need more birch wood. That's about it besides the windows, and I will add guards on the roof. I also filled in that patch there, but... What is a modern house build without slab work? I'll just continue this around and be right back. Probably with the finished build. So we told Intro. Matt to yeah we told yeah. Matt to get on the server because Reed and I made a little surprise, and I think the viewers will also find it enjoyable too. So let's go down to this hole real quick. Okay. Oh, everyone's in the way. Tada! Spawn Ooh. music. Redstone mastery. Wow. Yeah, and um, so basically there's a there's a option to keep the music base. running on loop or not. Okay. And. Let's just do that. I think that'll work for now. I'll have to rewire this, and this option is controlled by a lever up on the surface if you want it to run on loop. So first, let's do it without loop. Anticlimactic. Nice. Yeah. No, okay. Let's just destroy this then. I remember no, that's on two. Remember that's on two things, and let's just bring that up here. That won't work. So. Oh. Okay. Now I might take it back. You may remember that familiar tune. No. As a epic sax guy, so it was once a viral video. Once a viral, it is a viral video, and um, you know, like da 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 da. You know, you know the guy, the guy basically pelvic thrusting as he plays his saxophone on stage. So let's just put this on repeat, and let's head up on the spawn over here. Yay, music. <laughs> Sweet, that's awesome, guys. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you were going to yell at her for, like, <laughs> lag or something, but, I, yeah, um, Why would you I, I spent on? basically the entire half hour before this trying to set that up. No, I was basically just and, and he was just giving me moral support <laughs> and, and materials, too. But I helped. But, uh, I made the note block. I also me. ran into this, uh, you can't, you actually can't notice it, but down here, this log... Like, this log actually goes into the room if you break yeah, it. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> and I think so does this, but not as much. So, I, this is all underneath spawn, and, um, by the way, Matt, you cheated in some bedrock, I can tell. Hmm? Che yeah, you cheated in some bedrock underneath wow, spawn. Yeah. I wanted it to all be under spawn, but it wouldn't fit. So, yeah, that's basically it. Wow, that's neat. Nice. To end this, end this clip right here. I'll start rewiring this, and that's about it. Yep. Okay. Oh, see so you guys in a bit. <laughs> Yay. Hey guys, I'm Jake, and I'm here to show you what a real house looks like. So why don't I just give you the grand tour? So right when you walk in, you get the kitchen right over here. It's a pretty nice place. I gotta say, even has a refrigerator. 
only kings have refrigerators. And then you may not get even get enough exercise during the day. So what I have here is some nice steps that'll help you get your workout done. So let's now head up to the master bedroom. This is where all the magic happens. And then right across here is my state-of-the-art compact storage room. You see there's a lot of storage space in here. And on the roof, to finish it off, we have a nice, amazingly done garden. And then we can finish it off here with the uh, blue Salatagus Crafty flag. Just look at that amazing rooftop view. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for checking out my crib. And yo, check it. Well, yes, this is my new house. I'm done with it. Or, um, I'm just gonna still, like, adding, start adding. I'm, I'm gonna still be adding things like the stone path and, uh, probably finish that and like maybe add a pool underneath that ledge but um, yeah I've done this but how do I do with this there's only one thing to do with this and take one door for keepsake and to also you know hook up the wiring This day marks something new. And this is gonna get freaking destroyed. Let's get this done! Yeah! Okay, well, I cleaned up all that I could. Um, one thing that I did not expect is this to just, like, very... Just to be very clean. Like, especially my back door ladder, even. Like, my back door ladder is completely gone. I expect it to be, like, a really rough cut. But, yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is what we're left with. Um, see if we can get, like, a big aerial view of this. Yeah, that's what's left of my house. <laughs> you have to, like, probably extend this over that way. It's gonna be a lot of birch wood, but it's, you know, useful. Probably gonna touch the coast, maybe. I don't know, and this war sh should be about done anytime soon. As, you know, <laughs> very soon, I meant. Yes, very soon. Ah, oh, yes, let's watch the beautiful sunset. And then look over to this non-beautiful thing. Yeah, next episode, we will... Redo the border on this area, and we will also fix up this thing. But until then, I will see you. Until then, I will see you. Does that, that really that really make sense? Well, I, I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe, I guess. I mean, like, you don't have to. I'm not forcing you to. But it would be darn appreciated if you would. Goodbye.